What's going on Cougar fans and welcome to this week's edition of CUC Football Weekly. I'm Parker Kelly with the Cougar Sports Network and I'm once again joined by head football coach Andy Lambert. How coach, you doing Parker? Coach, I'm doing great. How are Good. you doing? Good. Well, I don't even have to tell you how big of a week this is, mm -hmm. a rivalry game at Benedictine University on Saturday. But before we jump into that, I know the team was on a bye week last week. How are, how are the guys feeling after getting a little bit of rest and recovery in? Well, I think they're I think they're fresh. You know, we came back a little bit sluggish. You know, but um, I thought they practiced well. We're still, you know, installing, you know, and in, in trying to get some things figured out for the game. But uh, all in all, I think it's been a a really good week. And I know that you know while some guys were able to go home and experience family, you know, for the first time since August eighth. The guys who stayed, did a, they had a great time. A bunch of them went to Chicago, you know, uh, for the Mexican Independence Day celebration. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, 15, 20 of those guys. I, I, I heard of one guy that, uh, you know, bought a weekend pass um, on the Metro and, and whatever else. And he went down like three days in a row. So, uh, so I, I, hopefully they enjoyed it and uh, just got to experience the, if they didn't get to go home, got to experience the Chicago area which you know we love particularly this time of the year yeah definitely cool to see downtown mm -hmm. so big rivalry game in lyle illinois on mm -hmm. saturday last season this team beat the eagles for the first time in 10 years Can, all things considered what is the team's mindset going into a tough road environment yeah well you know i, I think uh benedictine's going to be angry right you know so i think we have to be prepared for that you know that they didn't uh, like obviously losing last year, like you said, it hadn't happened for a decade, and so I think we just had, have to anticipate their best, right? I mean, they, um, you know, they're trying to get better, and uh, you know, I think they're you know trying to decide on a quarterback, so they've got a little bit of that going on, and so uh, we we just realized they're going to be intent on beating us, and I think we're gonna, you know, we have to plan on uh, playing their best game that they played this year. Absolutely. It was a thrilling game last year, expecting it to be a thrilling game this yeah. year. Who are some guys that we should be on the lookout for to make an impact versus the Eagles? Uh, that's a great question. You know, um, obviously uh, on offense, we've, we've got some kind of name recognition guys, you know, uh, for lack of a better term. But, but Jace uh, has had a really good season uh, transfer coming in, and he uh, has had a, a really good two weeks of practice, um, had a spectacular um, kind of two periods in a row yesterday. Um, so he's somebody, a, a freshman that has kind of uh, popped up and we knew he was going to be a, a really good player on offense is Jerron Brown. Uh, and so he's super versatile and playing him in, in multiple spots and just such a natural football player. Uh, on defense, you know, we're, we're just so young and new. Uh, but uh, I think the, the guy that's been most consistent is... Damari Grant uh, at corner so he is super athletic and I think uh, you know if he can you know just kind of play free and cut it loose he'll have another really good game they, they throw a ton so it's going to be important to you know we've got to cover uh, keep everything down in front of us and then you know try to get some pressure if we can so anyway just off the top of my head you know without thinking too much about it those are three names that I, I would throw out yeah, mm -hmm. and I've personally really enjoyed watching Jerron. He's a really downfield physical runner. Yeah. What can we expect to see out of, like, the pass-run ratio on Saturday? Right. You know, I don't think we ever go into it. Uh, you know, some, some coordinators will want to be, you know, kind of 50-50, right? And, and, and I understand the, the benefits of that. Um, but we're, I think we just go in and really working on taking what the defense is going to give us, right? Uh, we've thrown up more this year. We're, we're going to continue in that vein. We feel like we... Um, have really good options. Uh, you know, protection has been a, a bit of an issue in, in both of the previous two games. So we're trying to address that and, and uh, you know, firm up some of that with maybe schematic, but, but also just practicing that well. So, you know, I don't, I don't have a number to give you, but I think that uh, we can throw it and we want to be, uh, be able to, to build on that. I, I did some uh, just some data stuff, it, so we're not taking all passes equal or, or that kind of thing, but our success ratio with our th uh, pass calls and then the RPOs that we actually throw, you know, we're averaging like 11 point uh, whatever yards per, you know, that, that kind of look that I, that I 
looked at last week. And so we're, we're doing a really good job with that, and we're making plays after the catch, and we've been able to get the ball downfield. So we just kind of have to see how that, that plays itself out. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Coach. There are going to be a lot of eyes on this game on Saturday. I know I'll be watching. Best of luck on Saturday Thank versus you. the Eagles. Thank you for coming on today. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Parker. Make sure to check out the Cougars as they kick off NAC regular season play this Saturday at Benedict Benedictine University. Kickoff is set for 1 p.m. and coverage can be found on the athletics website at cucougars.com slash coverage. I'm Parker Kelly signing off. We'll see you next time on CUC Football Weekly. Go Cougars. Go Cougars.